Hey guys, welcome to this video. And we're going to look at another way of doing color calibration in uh, PixInsight. Um, this one, not necessarily the way to do it, but in a pinch, if you needed to, if you're having trouble um, with other ways of color calibration, then this one seems to work not too bad. It aligns your color channels and uh, everything is uh, pretty sweet. So um, let's go over to the computer and have a quick look. All right, so I have PixInsight open. And this technique for color calibration can work on both RGB and narrow band data. Uh, so I have open here my um, narrow band data on the Fighting Dragons Nebula. This is sulfur 2, H alpha, and oxygen 3 channels. And I'm going to demonstrate to you this alternative technique for color calibration. And you might find it handy. Uh, you might find it useful in situations where you're not having any luck color calibrating using the other methods in PixInsight. Um, the photometric color calibration uh, tool does work very well, uh, but it, it sometimes, I've had it fail sometimes, and um, the color calibration, the original color calibration method in PixInsight, again, can work well, but some people have trouble getting it to work and uh, work effectively anyways. So this may be another way for you to tackle color calibration. And as I said, it'll work for both RGB and narrowband data. So fantastic, it'll align those color channels for us, which will make processing a lot easier and the image will look good. So how is this done? We're gonna use linear fit to do the color calibration. Now, let me just demonstrate to you if we don't do the color calibration, if we don't align the color channels, what we're, what we're faced with. So if I create this show image, um, we can look at the, the data and it looks fine as we do an auto stretch. It looks something like we'd expect from a uh, Hubble palette, a, a, a narrow band uh, data image. This is uh, going to be problematic though, because if I just show you, I'm going to use the uh, easy soft stretch just to, just to show you the uh, color channels. You'll see the color channels are not aligned and this is going to create a very green image. It's going to be a nightmare to try and uh, process and um, and it simply is not, uh, it simply isn't color balanced. So what we can do is we can color balance this image using linear fit. The first thing we need to do though is to determine uh, a median value, the lowest median value, which channel, the red, green, or the blue has the lowest median value. So to do that, we're gonna use the statistics tool um, statistics process that is in Pix and Sight. So you can find that under process, all processes, and then over here, statistics. Click on that. Uh, our image is image 27. So we're going to select image 27 and we're going to look at this value right here, median. And we'll see for the red channel, it's 1.97, and for the green, it's 2.41, and for the blue, it's 2.18. Now, what this means is we wanna use the red channel um, as our reference in the linear fit. So we know that the red channel is our reference image to use in the linear fit, and we're going to apply that to the other channels, the red, or sorry, the green and the blue. So what we wanna do is take our narrow band image, our show image, and we're going to, and this again, this could be your RGB image. Um, so to, don't think that it's just for narrow band because it isn't. Um, I'm simply using this as an example. So what we're gonna do, so if it's your RGB image or it's your narrow band image, um, all you have to do is go up here to split RGB channels, click on that, and it's gonna split that image into red, green, and blue. And we know red is our reference image. So we're going to go to process, all processes, and we're gonna to go to linear fit. 
and we are going to use image 27 red. That's our reference image. And now what we're going to do is we're going to apply that to the blue channel. Let PixInsight do its thing. And we'll apply it to the green channel. So now we've matched the red channel to the green and the blue using linear fit. In doing this, we've color calibrated, we've aligned the color channels. And we're gonna see that by reassembling this. So we're gonna to go to process, color spaces, channel combination. And here we're going to select our image red channel, our image green channel, and our image blue channel. So now we've got our red, green, and blue channels, and we are going to combine them, and it combined them into this new image, image 32. We don't need these separate color channels anymore. We'll just close them, and we can minimize these just so they're out of the way and we'll just park them up here. Okay, so now we have our color calibrated channel, color channel aligned image on the right. That was done using linear fit. And over here we have our original image that's not been color calibrated. Now, You'll remember that I showed you that the color channels were not aligned in the image on the left because we hadn't color calibrated it yet. And we end up with this very green image. So we need to bring these channels together in order to color calibrate. Now let's look at the result of using linear fit to color calibrate the green and the blue channel to match the red. If we go back to our soft stretch and we open image 32, we'll now see that the color channels are aligned. And now it's showing us what our narrow band show image, what we'd expect it to look like. And we can continue processing it. And that's it. So I hope that you found this helpful and that it is uh, something that you could possibly use to make color calibration a little easier. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. And uh, to those subscribers uh, that have been following me, thank you very much. Appreciate that. And we will see you again real soon. Clear skies, everyone. Take care.